The little chief Hosanna was born in February 2016 to Karula, the late queen of Juma. We met him and his sister the day they were born. Hosanna was a naughty little leopard from the beginning and we loved watching his playful antics. Tragically, Karula mysteriously disappeared, leaving her cubs to fend for themselves at just over a year old. Sadly, the little female was unable to keep herself from harm's way and did not survive the loss of their mother. But little Hosanna overcame. and has captured our hearts. The little chief is an unusually social cat. If not entertaining us with his mischievous antics, he is often seeking out the company of his father, Tingana. Hosanna is maturing, however, and will soon begin to display territorial behavior, a situation that Tingana will almost certainly not tolerate. Then, the young chief will have to find his own domain. Hosanna has survived against the odds to become a magnificent, independent, young male leopard. Hosanna is now almost three. Although an accomplished hunter, he still has much to learn about life as a growing male leopard. A few months ago, his older sister, the new queen, Tandi, arrived at one of his kills and took advantage of his hard-earned meal. She helped herself, as the little chief contemplated from a distance. But, lately it seems he is beginning to understand that with his growth comes more authority. It is now Hosanna's turn to help himself. Tandi does her best to try and stop him from taking her food. But he is no longer submissive to his smaller sister. He now knows he is stronger than she is. She can no longer bluff with aggression. The tables have turned. Hosanna is finding the courage to face other scavengers as well. He is learning that when he stands his ground, he can be very intimidating. However, when faced with his father's nemesis, six-year-old Hukumuri, Hosanna knows that he is not quite up to the fight just yet. At the beginning of the year, Hosanna was in a difficult stage of male mammal development. Physically, he'd moved on from gangly teenager to handsome, stocky young adult. His character, however, remained clownish in his cub-like search for entertainment. Bite-sized goslings and their parents were hardly a serious meal. At the other end of the scale was his deluded perception of invincibility. A trait he shared with adolescent men. It was time for the little chief to learn his limits. Osana's hunting efforts were clearly often successful. His plump belly was evidence of that. even if he still enjoyed the carefree games of youth. But the unfamiliar hormones of adulthood had begun to flow. They were changing his behavior. He began to spray bushes and scrape where he'd urinated, quite possibly without any intent to stake a territory. 
Tingana did not react to his son's adult behavior. If, however, it becomes deliberately territorial and is accompanied by sawing, the big old duke will not be nearly so tolerant.